I have been diagnosed with cancer of the blood. <gasps> what? And I only have six months to live. No, Dad. No, don't say that. Just tell. Tell me that you're lying. Dad. That's not possible. Father, what are you saying? Cancer? How? I can't believe this. This is, this is really unfathomable. I mean, how did this ever happen, Dad? How did you come about this cancer? How? It's not in our lineage, Daddy. How can you even be asking him something like this now? How? Enough. The kingship must not leave this family. My father, my grandfather, and my great-grandfather will not be happy with me. I do not have a male child, and an adopted one cannot be a king. But I know that you girls can still make the kingship to remain in this family. How? Through your husbands. If any of you marries a man from this kingdom, that man will be crowned king after me. Father, I need to get something right. You already know that we are not married. None of us is married. So are you trying to tell us that whoever marries first, the husband automatically takes over after your kingship? And you have three months to present that man. We all heard, Father. I mean, I am so pained, but Mother's death dealt us a big blow. And we're stronger. I mean, it made us stronger so we can absorb any other misfortune. If you ask me, we have to be prepared for the inevitable because anything can happen. And we should also be united in the decision that we're about to make now. A decision that will make our father proud when he is finally gone. Bella, can you even hear yourself speak? Why are you talking like that? I mean, why do you talk as if you've been waiting for him to die off like a chicken so you can take over everything as the supposed first daughter. What do you mean by that? Exactly what you heard. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Why would you say a thing like that? You and I know that father is ill right now. You should be talking about we making inquiries to see how he can be saved, not what you're saying. Hmm. And in your head, you think he hasn't done that already? Oh. I mean, you have forgotten that daddy works with the most sophisticated doctors in the world? Can we just focus on the issue at hand? Everybody must die someday. I am no longer afraid of death. I am only afraid of what will happen to you when you die. Look, I love this family with every pint of my blood. I enjoy being royalty. I would love my kids to be addressed as prince and princesses. So we must do everything within our power to ensure that the kingship doesn't leave this family. And how on earth? Do we achieve that? Oh, beautiful question. Beautiful. Well, if you ask me, I am the first, the eldest. So I think you should accord me that respect by just laying low and allowing me to get married. Simple. Says who? Accord you with what respect? I don't get it. Ah, oh, Bella. It is quite obvious to me that you are now suffering from order three hallucination. Watch your mouth. Why would I watch my mouth? And why on earth would you say a thing like that? I mean, didn't father know that you are the eldest when he made his pronouncement that whoever gets a husband first automatically takes uh, the throne? So why would you be saying uh, you are the first daughter we should accord you with the respect? Because I know that is what he wants. That's Maybe not, he omitted it. That's not what he wants. Even if he doesn't say it, he you should gone. know. Blank. All you should do for yourself is to get a husband. Yes. Try and get a husband. I will first. get a husband. I will get a husband. You think I will not get a husband? I will get a husband. Oh, please. I know what your problem is. I know what your own problem is, too. I know what your problem is. Your problem is that you don't have a man. Yes, you don't. 
Do you have a man? I have. You I don't, don't have a man. I don't have just a man. I have men. You, you. Yeah, I've got men, and I can just choose anyone I want, and I send the throne and become the queen. Rubbish. She has men. You have men. Nelly, you have men. A princess, and you have men. Ah. Get one for yourself, first daughter. My God. He. She has men. Where are you going? I'm leaving for good. All of you just can't leave. Huh? Where do you think you're going? They killed mom to make you weak. So they can take over easily. Please do not ever succumb to that. Please, dad. They got to mom. They should never get to you. I know they'll be doing everything humanly possible to eliminate us so that they can make you completely vulnerable. But I beg you, Dad. You're not just a great man, but you are the only king we have. Always try to surround yourself with people who love you, people who mean well for you. I beg you. I'll leave now. I'll drop a number for you. You can contact me with that number only if it's a matter of life and death. If not that, do not call me. This doesn't make sense to me. It does to me. I believe with time you will understand everything. Please, I need to go back into the streets. Because for now, that is where I belong. I love you, Dad. Evil personified people. I know they all want him dead. But what they do not know is what awaits them if he eventually dies. They have no idea.
or no? It's time for that. Time to do what? Time to coronate me. The woman cannot be crowned king in India. It is against the tradition. Oh no, you will coronate me now. Crown me. Do it! Please. No, no. Put it away. Please, please, please. It's okay. Man, remove that thing from her head. The throne belongs to no one else but me. It is too late. Shut up! How dare you speak while I'm talking? I said remove that crown from her head. I am the rightful owner of that position. Bow before me as your king. <laughs> Are you dreaming? No, you must be mad to have thought in that little head of yours that I would bow before a crazy human being like you. Bow before me, else I shoot. Shut up! You will shoot who? And what makes you think that that toy you have there can eliminate me? You think I'm joking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told you. Now, Naomi, that thing you have there cannot kill me. Now, what do I for my mother can't see where I do. You have no idea. You do not know, but I came well prepared. You see, that crown you have there belongs to no one else but me. And I'll tell you something, honey. I would do everything possible to sit on my throne. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning, my princess. The pride of Ndio, my favorite, the one I love. Indeed, stand. Thank you, my princess. My princess, I, I missed you so much. Same here. I hope you'll be taking care of the palace. Oh yes, of course, I have. Nice. Get me my bike outfit. All right, my princess. amongst your daughters. There's no saying. Why did you then tell everybody to bring a man? I am the first. You should have just asked me, not them. My husband should be king. The right is reserved for a son that I never had. If you were my son, it becomes automatic. You were my first daughter, but no tradition or rules stipulates that. If you desperately want your husband to be the king, then go and get me a man from Diowu before your sisters do. Back three years, I was wondering once again Back through the seasons of my youth I recall the box of rag that someone gave us And how my mama pulled the rags to use 
There were rags of many colors. Every beast was more, and I didn't have a cough. It was a way down in the fall. Mama pulled the rags together, sewed every piece with love. She made my coat of many colors that I was so proud of. My coat of many colors that my mama made for me. Made only from rags that I was so proudly. I know we had no money, but I was rich as I could be. In my coat of many colors, my mama made for me. As she saw, she told a story from the Bible she had read about the coat of many colors Joseph wore. And she said, perhaps this coat will bring you good luck and happiness. And I just couldn't wait to wear it. And mama blessed it with a kiss. My coat of many colors that my mama made for me. Made only from rags, and I was so proudly. Oh no, we had no money, but I was rich as I could be. In my coat of many colors, my mama made for me. Made it just for me. If you want to walk, you better walk together as one. Yeah! Oh my goodness! Oh, look at you! You look amazingly gorgeous. Come here! Yes, sir, you Come here. Beautiful! It's been a long time. Come have a seat. Oh my Wonderful! Gosh, I have missed you, honey. I missed you too deeply. Sit down. Oh my God. Uh, enjoy yourself. I am so glad you are back. What is life without enjoyment? And I hope this time around you are back for good. <laughs> well, the only thing that can keep me here forever is one thing. What could that be, my princess? I will do anything to keep you here, even if it means killing someone. I so, man. What kind of man? Tall, short, fair, rich, just mention I it. I am serious, Rita. When I mean I need a man, I just don't need any neat wit moving around the street. I need a man, very seriously. You know, you and I have come a long way, Rita. And I tell you virtually everything that is happening in my life, right? Yes. The king is dying. Oh my God. The king is dying. Yes. He's dying. And when he eventually dies, someone has to sit on that throne. He already made a mandate that any of us that marries first, the husband would have the opportunity of becoming a king whilst he's gone. So I want my man to be the one to ascend the throne. I want to be the one in that position. Rita, I need that kingship. Most importantly, I need a man from Undu to marry. This is serious. Very, very serious. It's not a joking matter. As a matter of fact, that is why every one of us came back. Wow. What about um, Onyedika? Do not ever mention that name here again. God forbid. Come on. Deep down, I know you still love him. The asshole slept with my elder sister. Have you suddenly forgotten? He was drunk. That was a crazy night, you know. But he has apologized severally. Even when you were away, he kept begging me to talk to you because you blocked his number. And if it's very, very okay for me, I can even block his destiny. I don't want anything to do with that dude. Che, this is really painful. His son was already planning to take them to London before this happened. 
who must have done this horrible thing? This must be investigated. Accusing fingers points at his younger brother. They've been having land disputes of late, and uh, of course, he's already in police custody. He's been arrested. It is an unfortunate occurrence. The culprit must be fished out and dealt with decisively. Meanwhile, my daughters are back after a long absence, and I want to celebrate their coming back in a special way. There will be masquerade dances. I will need the Atilogo dancers invited. They love them. Oh no, you know what to do. Of course, Your Majesty. I, I'll take care of that. I heard everything you said, Rita. But I need you to know something about me. You see this thing called marriage? It's a big deal for me. Yeah. Because trust is that glue that binds relationship. Without trust, no marriage can ever work. I'll beat my chest on it. I mean, it's quite impossible for you to have a strong and healthy relationship without trust. Listen, a healthy relationship is built on unwavering trust. So how can I possibly get married to a man that I do not trust? A man that has messed himself up, florics with every woman around. Oh no, not me. My princess. Have you forgotten that building trust, after this trust, wins the love of your life back? I've never heard of that, Rita. Just well, hearing it from you. Well, that's just the truth. So, what, what would you have me do? Why do you have tears in your eyes? Dad, can I ask you a question? Go ahead, my daughter. Are you tired of living? I don't understand. You said you have just six months to live. I did some inquiries and I found out that chemotherapy is a major treatment that you can use to kill leukemia. The drug treatment uses chemicals to kill the cells faster, depending on the type of leukemia that you have. It comes in single form or combination of drugs. You can take it as a pill or it can be injected into your veins directly. I heard it works very well, very fast. You said depending on the type of leukemia. What I have is called acute lymphoblastic leukemia and the cancer has eaten through my liver and kidney. It is impossible to cure. So, so you're just going to die? Don't do that. No, you are the strongest of all my daughters. But Dad, I'm human and I bleed. Get me a man from Ndiyo. It is very important to me. What if all of us decide to get men and marry same day? The question should be, what if all of you fail to get the qualified man for the throne? I haven't, haven't considered everything you've said to me. I just hope, I, I just hope that I am making the right decision. Trust me, you are. A lot of things has changed. Let's see how it goes then. But if I eventually find a husband and he becomes the heir apparent to my father's throne, you would always, in fact, you would come live with us in the palace. As what? As anything. I mean, I, I can't even place my hand on it, but j just maybe because I can't stay without you. <laughs> when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it, okay? Of course. <laughs> hey, girl, tell me, tell me, tell me some story. How is that man that's making you look so good like this? I missed you, please. No, please, please talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> Nobody let's, 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 let's,
You are the strongest among your sisters. Protect them by all means. We will have a lot of enemies in the kingdom and beyond. Lots of people will like take over the kingship because your father has no better child. Even if it means wiping the whole family out. When you notice that, leave the kingdom with your sisters. Always listen to your father. He sees you as the son he never had. We have a reason for sending you for the training you had. One more thing. Protect the palace. <laughs> when I am gone. Honestly, I feel somehow. What if he has gotten another woman? No, I don't think so. If he has, he wouldn't be bugging me about you. Right? Yes. Okay. Ah, madam, now I be this so. How are you? I did fine, no, now nah, nah, one guy they kill us here. <laughs> Don't worry, if I leave, I'll definitely drop something for I you. I trust you now. Nah. You see your guy around? Eh, uh, my guy they inside though, but you see not I no open gate for anybody. Yeah. But I'm madam with this now. Nah. I, I go open gate now, nah. I'm not going to tell him no. Alright, okay. let me just see. No need, I'm not driving in. Okay, is there? Okay. Who is there? Surprised to see you. Are uh, you not comfortable with it? Like, am I not welcomed in your house? Um, um I, I will leave both of you. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay? <laughs> You're welcome. What is this? Onyedika? What is she doing in your house? Uh, babe, you mean? What is she doing in your house? This guy is just an idiot. Let's go. This guy is such an idiot. Did I not tell you? Baby, please. Please, baby, listen to me. Please, I can, I can explain. Please. If you touch me, Me. 
I swear with my life on Yedika, I will kill you and damn the consequences. Please kill me. Kill me, but listen to me, please. I, I, hey, baby, please. please. that she's getting married. Why? What is wrong with you? How can you even be in love with two sisters at the same time? And who the hell told you that I'm in love with you? Huh? Well, it doesn't matter if you're in love with me or not. The most important thing is that I am in love with you. Hmm? Go in there. Put on your clothes and leave my house before I do something silly. Tell you that I'm not angry. I know that I'm a very big liar. You tell you assured me. You told me that I was on the right track. That everything I was doing was just too perfect. Going to his house unannounced. It was nice. Now see the mess I landed myself into because of you, Rita. See the embarrassment you cost me out there. Listen, I would never ever listen to you again. I will not do that. You know your problem? Tell me my problem. You're Tell me what my problem is. Maybe I do not know. Tell me. You are too impulsive. You are too quick to judge. What nonsense are you talking about? My princess, your father, the king, said that any of you that gets married first, the husband automatically becomes the king. Mm -hmm. And the man must come from Udyo. If you were your sister, wouldn't you have made the first step considering what has happened in the past? It is now survival of the fittest. He followed you to beg you, to explain to you what really transpired, which means he still loves you. In other words, give him a listening ear to at least understand what he has to say. Uh, except you are no longer interested in the kingship. Of course not. You know full well that I've always dreamt of being a queen mother. I have always wanted to be in that position. So I would do everything, in fact, everything possible to be there. You know that. <sighs> Do not allow your emotions to take the better part of you. Give him a chance to explain himself. Welcome, Mr. Jerry. You're welcome, sir. The love of my life is back. I am so happy. <laughs> Indeed, the love of your life. Is he aware that you're shitting on him? What would you have me do? He was long gone, so I had to take care of myself. Indeed, you know, at times you hallucinate a lot. He was long gone. For how long? The king sent him on an errand for four days. Just four days and you are doing your thing. I know. Please, you know how much I love him. Please, no one of you should tell him anything. I beg of you. <laughs> what will I gain from telling him? Absolutely nothing. Thank you. I don't think you should be worried about that. 
You should be more concerned about your favorite princess, Princess Naomi. What? What? Why would you say that? I don't know. I am not saying anything. I didn't say anything. I just made a statement. Why did she say that? What does she mean by that? Set to go. Remember, you ejaculated inside me. You understand what that means. So I'll be expecting you at the palace tomorrow. Who knows? You might just be the next king of Nju. <laughs> what are you talking about? You think my sisters and I came back to the village for vacation? <laughs> no. We came to look for husbands from Undiowu. Because my father told me that as the first daughter, if I bring home a man that I want to settle down with, automatically, the man becomes the next king of Ndiowu after my father. Now I'm out on a and trip. you should count yourself lucky that I found you worthy. Hmm? I've always loved you. I've always told you that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Listen, do you think my sister can take care of you? <laughs> no way. She can never take care of you the way I will. Hmm? So, think about it. So, I will be expecting you at the palace tomorrow so I can introduce you to my father. Um, baby, listen, there's nothing to think about, okay? As far as I'm concerned, this is a lifetime opportunity. We can go now. Oh, <laughs> wait, really? Sure, we can go. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Yeah, uh, so just give me a few minutes, let me refresh it, okay? Oh, all right. Just give me a few minutes. I'll be fast about it. <gasps> I missed you. I missed you like I've never missed anyone before. Since you left, I have been trying to reach you to no avail. Your number wasn't going through. Well, the, the death of my mom left a huge blow on me. I needed to stay away from everyone. I never stopped thinking about you. I missed you too. I'm glad you're back. But at the same time, I'm scared you might just vanish into thin air again. How much do you love me? With all my life. I love you with every single breath that I take. Do you love me enough to spend eternity with me? <laughs> That's impossible. I'm just a servant here. And I can only enjoy the privileges of being a servant. Besides, Thinking of spending eternity with you is like thinking of being crowned the king of Ndiawo Kingdom someday. You and I know it's impossible. What if I tell you that you can actually become king of Ndiawo? Uh, uh, really, I'm glad you're back. And I noticed you have developed a great sense of humor since you were away. It's not humor. I'm serious. Will you marry me? Oh, come.
come out, princess. Stop joking around, okay? Let's get serious. Jerry, I need a yes or a no from you right now. Will you spend the rest of your life with me? It's okay. It's all right. Yes. Yes, if it's possible, yes. I mean, nothing, absolutely nothing will give me greater joy than spending the rest of my life with you. Good. Then get ready. I will introduce you to my father. Hold on a second. Introduce me to the king? As who? I mean, come on, princess. Don't you think this is too early? Come with me, my husband. You, you came back with Jerry, right? Yes. Any problem? Uh, not really. It's just that I have been waiting for him. I have not seen him since he returned. I guess he's still with the king. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, then. <sighs> Greetings, Father. Greetings, my princess. Father, I have found the man after my own heart. The man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Mm. This is real fast. Who is this lucky man? Him. Jerry? Yes. Greetings, your highness. You're welcome. Sit down. Father, Jerry and I got intimate after mother died. He was the only one that was able to console me and make me cope before I left. We fell in love and I have decided that he is the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Jerry, what do you say? <sighs> Majesty, I am short for words, honestly. But uh, I must confess that I love Princess Naomi with all my life. With the breath that I breathe. But I don't think it's possible for a servant like me to have the privilege to marry a princess. But if it is possible, I will gladly marry her. You are my most trusted servant and you have always been there for me. You will make a good leader and a good king. Therefore, bow both of you. Oh my goodness, Father. I hereby bless and support this union. You Congra say, congratulations. You say. <laughs> Father, this is very urgent. As a matter of fact, we'll be getting married in a fortnight. This is a royal marriage. It takes at least two months to prepare. So choose a date next month. Okay, the father will get back to you. Take him to one of the sitting rooms. Make him very comfortable, okay? Okay, my princess. Uh, let me check and see if my father is around. Then I'll take you to him for introduction. All right. Welcome, sir. Please, let's wait. I'm confused. 
What does he mean by, I will make a great king and uh, the people of Fundiobu will be safe in my hands? What is going on? My father has just six months to live. The king is dying? Yes. Oh my goodness. The king is looking for his successor. He has just three of us. Tradition demands that the kingship can only remain here if one of us marries a man from a duo. That man automatically becomes king. Just send someone that is very competent. I am anticipating something positive. All right? Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. What of you? I'm fine. Um, Dad, I have found someone I want to marry. A man from Ndiowu. Great! Where is this man? I will want to meet him. He's already in the palace. Let me bring him here. I'll be waiting. Okay, Dad. Now I'm out on a hunting trip. Searching for a special meat. Don't know if I found... A man from Ndiowu. Oh, yes, yes. I've arrived in the palace, yes. Thank you very much. Jerry, leave whatever you're doing. You can't even greet. You're staring at me. I'm sorry. That, that, that's your business. Listen, take two guards and search the whole palace. I am looking for Odnyedika. Okay. Be fast and get back to me. Okay, right away. You don't order him around. He is no more a servant in this palace. He is now my betrothed and we are getting married. Come with me. Hurry up. Quickly. Dad, as you already know, Onyedika and I have come a long way. And we love each other so much. You know, we understand each other. And uh, I haven't brought him before you today because he wants to get married to me and also stands the chance of becoming the next king of this kingdom if the marriage happens. But I brought him before you today, Dad, because we are deeply in love with each other. And I so much believe that he is the right man for me. And he is the man that will make me happy even after our marriage. <laughs> Nedika, what do you have to say? <clears throat> um, Your Highness, first of all, it is a great honor to be here before you. You see, Your Highness, loving someone and finding someone who loves you back is a wonderful feeling. But finding a true soulmate is even a better feeling. A true soulmate is someone who understands you like no other, who loves you like no other, who is ready to stand by you regardless. <sighs> Your honor is to some, nothing lasts forever, but I'm a firm believer in the fact that true love lasts forever even after we are long gone. That is the type of love I share with your daughter, Your Highness. And I'm ready to share my eternity with her.
I announce and support this union. Oh, Dad, thank you so much. Thank you, so when are you planning to get married? To me, I don't think we're actually waiting for anything since you already approved of it. I think we should get married immediately. <laughs> My princess, Dad? they are royalty. Yes. Royal marriages are not prepared overnight. It takes time. Mm -hmm. Yes, it takes at least two months. Oh, two months. So I want you to choose a date. Come next month. Okay. Okay, we'll do 25th. That's exactly a month from now. And also, the date of my mother's birthday. Good. Then we will set the preparation in motion. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you so much, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay, Daddy, I'll see you. Okay. 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 Jerry, what is going on? You have been scarce since you came back. Where have you been? I have been with my wife. What are you talking about? Which wife? Indeedy. Princess Naomi and I are getting married. Yes. If you care to know. You see, I have evaluated our relationship and I have come to the conclusion that our relationship is nothing but sex. Yes. Sex, sex, nothing but sex. You see, I fell in love with Princess Naomi after the death of the Queen Mother. But when she left, I, I was so empty. Inside of me, I felt void. I was frustrated. And then, you came handy. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for keeping me company, but now that she is back, we are getting married. Please, please, Jerry, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please, what I feel for you is never about sex. No, I, I really love you. I am deeply in love with you. Believe me, can't you see? I, I have never loved another man the way I love you. Hey, stop it. And then please hold it there, okay? Let me surprise you. I know of all your sex capades with other men. Oh, you think I'm dumb? No, I'm not. I'm aware. I know everything. Every single step you took sleeping with other men, I know. But I decided to keep silent. You know why? Because I wanted to enjoy every bit of it while it lasted. Yes, you're right. But since you came into my life, 
I have been trying to stop. I have, I have, I have to, in fact, I have stopped. And I have been a good girl just for you. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Please, Jerry. Please. Lady, the heart knows where it belongs. Please, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, Bella? Have you lost your sense of time? What does it mean of this? Why can't you behave like a first daughter? Do you even know what it means to be the first child? First child, my ass. Mangurun. Mangurun because I'm... Why? Oh, Mangurun because I'm the first child. In your mind, you think you can embarrass me, right? You think you can humiliate me. You, my sister, you stole him from me? Huh. Listen. It will not work. Do you hear me? If he doesn't marry me, then he will never marry you. Never. I'm sorry to say this, Bella, but I'm really, really ashamed of you. You should be ashamed of yourself. I am disappointed in you. Do you have amnesia? Because the last time I checked, this is my man. He has always been my man. You tried to seduce him. You slept with him. So you should be ashamed of yourself. I should be ashamed yes, of myself. Yes, you should be. You are very stupid. Take this nonsense out of my face. Excuse me, did you just insult me? Take this rubbish Did you out just insult me? Take this nonsense. Oh, don't worry. Take I this going rubbish. To a little of that madness of yours. Oh. Just wait for me. Oh. What? Oh my God, honey. What's what she doing? Hey, hey, hey. No, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no. Hey, Bella, 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 no, no. What is wrong with you? Huh? What is wrong with you? Can't you say that she's the one I love? Oh. Do I have to explain this to you? Oh. Just, just, just shut up. At first you lied to me that she's married. As if that is not enough for you. You, you, you drugged me and slept with me. Why did you want to crucify yourself over a man that doesn't love you? Oh, Why? Just, just shut up. Shut your mouth. Oh, I am disgracing myself in public. But you ended up disgracing yourself in private. Listen, you better marry me. Do you hear me? You don't even have a choice. You must marry me. Fool! Stop crying, Didi. There is nothing you can do about this. Absolutely nothing. So, just move on with your life. How can I move on? How can I possibly move on? Can't you see? I, I, I deeply love him. I love him so much. And my princess, the princess did this to me. My favorite princess. The one I love. How can a princess marry a servant? How? Why didn't she just go out there and look for a man of her class? Why mine? What type of intimidation is this? Or is it because I'm just a maid? <laughs> just listen to yourself speak. You don't force love. It speaks from the heart. It comes naturally. Tell me, when you run after men, what do you expect? By the way, these tears coming from your eyes, are they real? Stop crying and brace up. Just brace up and face the reality. I'm sorry. But I don't understand you, Ndidi. No. You have a lot of men. Like, a lot. Why are you crying over a spit milk? Just choose one among all of them and love now. Simple. As usual, stop it, Amaka. Why are you insensitive? Can't you understand how she feels? Well, I'm just being realistic, yeah? 
I really don't even understand you. She has numerous men, numerous men. They chose. So she can pick one. I wouldn't blame you too. Let's face the facts. You're not in my shoes. <laughs> she may come. Nelly stole my man. She stole my man. Uh, that marriage will not work. It will not work over my dead body. I will not stay here and allow her marry somebody I brought into this palace. It will not work. That's my man, not hers. You are my oldest daughter. But your behavior sometimes baffles me. Marriage is not forced. It happens naturally. It's a natural phenomenon. Eh? Onyedika and Nelly have always been in love. If you were the one Onyedika wanted to marry, he wouldn't have gone ahead to propose to Nelly. So, you stand a better chance as my oldest daughter to inherit the kingship of this kingdom because you should have married before your sisters. So go and find your own husband and stop brooding over your sister's husband. I don't care. I don't care. He is mine. He's mine. I brought him to this palace so he should marry me, not Nelly. <laughs> ah, Nelly, you have not heard the last of this because you will not marry my husband. Never! Are you okay? I'm confused. I'm bothered. Everything's happening so fast. It feels like a dream to me. It's not a dream. It's reality. I understand how you feel. A time, everything would make sense to you. When you went to Incomunicado, I... I was lonely. So sad. I needed someone. So... I got involved with someone. Who's that? Indeedy. Yes, Indeedy. But now... She feels I used and dumped her. She hasn't been very okay since she heard about our marriage. She feels I hurt her. I, 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 I'm not used to hurting people. I'm used to people hurting me. Have you ever wondered why I dated you briefly and left? And why I have chosen to spend the rest of my life with you? No. It's because you're a good man with a good heart. Your types are rare. Now I'm out on a I made the right choice. For my father friends. knows I made the right choice. If I find you. About in the D. Looks like I'm losing my Don't worry. Don't I'll handle her. Okay? The way to find you. If I try to follow my heart, I may never find the love I seek. Now I'm running out of time. All the cardi 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 very very risky. If I try to follow my heart, I may never find the love I seek. Now I'm running out of time. How could a pretty lady like you be alone? Yeah, that is totally wrong. I mean, I condemn that. Do you mind if I keep you company until your man comes? I want to be left alone. Uh, you see, until you experience what real loneliness is, you will never understand what it is. A lot of people are so miserable and lonely because they fail to listen to the inner man. They create a gap between themselves and the inner man. In the process, neglect their true self. 
What do you mean by that? Uh, never mind. I am Azuka. Do you have a name? Bella. Well, uh, nice then. <sighs> Can I tag along? Come. Thank you. Uh, the next drink is going to be on me. <laughs> My, oh. You're funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. I should be saying that to you honestly because I can't remember oh. the last time I laughed like this. Yeah. You, you know, you have a wonderful sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Uh, oh. I think I'm slacking oh. off the rest. I am so drunk. I, I can see that. Mm. And uh, I am so honey. It's crazy and I'm so displaced. I know I must find a way. Can we get a room? I have a very beautiful room in my father's palace. My father is the king. What? Mm -hmm. Your father is the king? King David, right? Yes. Wow. So, do you want to see what my room looks like? <laughs> hmm? Uh, how we love to. Listen to the top. Are you are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm going for the crown. Listen to the top. I know you're fine. Are you sure you know? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> Day. My princess, the one I love. How much do you love Jerry? I love him so much that I can sacrifice my life for him. How much do you love me? I love you so dearly, my princess. You're like an elder sister I never had. Do you want to see Jerry happy? I can do anything to make him happy but not to the detriment of my own happiness, my princess. How are you going to cope now that he is taken? With all due respect, my princess, Jerry is only but a servant, but you are a princess. It is impossible for a princess to marry a servant. The marriage will not last. Please, my princess, leave him for me. I, I love him so much. Look for people in your class and marry. Please, so long as he's married to you, he will never be himself. He will always feel inferior. But with me, he will always be himself, my princess. Well, Jerry is taken. He is now my husband. And he is always happy whenever he's around me. I'll give you two million naira to go start a business. Take the money and go. Leave Jerry alone. As long as you are here, 
he will always feel he has wronged you. Money can buy a fine dog, but it's only love that can make him wag his tail. Money is not everything, my princess. Money does not bring happiness. Well, money might not be everything, but money can sure make your miserable life comfortable. Take the money and go. I am sorry, my princess. The type of love I have for Jerry cannot be bought with money. Go. I offered her two million naira to go and start a new life. Two million naira. <laughs> ah, that's good. Thank you, my love. At least that would make her happy. Well, she rejected it. She. She what? She said the kind of love she has for you cannot be bought with money. Are you being serious? Is she, cra is she crazy? Is she okay? Excuse me. I'm running, I'm running to become the champion. I'm running to become more. She offered me money to leave the palace. How much is the money she offered you? Two million naira. Hey, hey, hey! You mean she offered you such an amount of money? So where is the money? Why are you shouting? Here. I rejected the money. I don't need it. I need my man. Are you mad? Maybe I am madly in love. But you mean you rejected such an amount of money? Let's leave now. Live to where? We are going to get that money from her, Ndidi. You are not serious. You can go there and get the money from her. I don't need it. I know you are hungry. Go and get it from her. Ndidi! Yes? What did you just do? Huh? Answer me! You rejected a whoopee sum of two million naira. Two million naira for a man that doesn't want you? Answer me! All my life, I have been wired to love and spend eternity with you. Money cannot buy the type of love I have for you. I'd rather die than allow another woman to take you away from me. Just listen to yourself. Do you know the implication of you refusing that money? It means you will lose me and you lose the money. You are completely insane. Everything that happened. Why is he doing this to me? Why? 
Is it a crime to love him? I, I really love him. I do. I do. <laughs> you know you are a very beautiful lady. You just have to move on with your life. It's not easy. What is it? What is my king? Your majesty, did he committed suicide? What? Why? I don't know, Your Majesty, but we'll find a suicide note beside her. What is the meaning of this? Was she having some difficulties? We don't know, Your Majesty, but somebody broke her heart. Who? Jerry did. Chinelo. Yes, Your Majesty. Go and inform Obana to arrange for her cops to be taken back to her parents and every necessary compensation paid. Okay, Your Majesty. Majesty. It's okay. What she did was very stupid. Very stupid of her. I really don't understand why she had to take her life. It doesn't make sense to me. This is so sad. I mean, why would she waste her life just like that? Anyways, baby, it's okay. Come off this mood, all right? Are you a horse? Because <laughs> you don't get tired. Nobody has handled me this way before. And I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, when you have an opportunity to lay or date a princess, you will do everything within your power to make her happy. <laughs> And besides, a real man satisfies his woman in all ramification, especially in bed. <laughs> I like that bed part. You do? Oh. So let me ask you. What do you feel for me? Love? Lost. Don't you think it's too early for you to ask what I feel for you? Looks like I'm losing my mind. Don't know if it's wrong or right. The way to find you. If I try to go away, so I think. I may never find a love I see. Let's go. My father has ordered everyone to come out. We need to go. I can't. 
What do you mean you can't? It's an order. We have to go. Please. The one for me. My one in love. No matter of urgency. <clears throat> so indeed he's dead. Just like that. Ah. But why on God's name will she commit suicide? All because of a man who doesn't care for her. It's such a pity. It doesn't make sense. Ndidi doesn't care about men. Something is not right here. It is impossible for Ndidi that I know to commit suicide because of a man. But did she really commit suicide? Are you asking me? She's one of us. I am saying that she was killed. It is impossible for Ndidi to commit suicide because of a man. <sighs> oh, girl. I think that I'm losing myself. I think I'm slacking off the race. It's crazy and I'm so displaced. I know I must find a way. Find a way. Why are you staring at me like that? Will you marry me? What? Will you marry me? You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. Wow! That came to me as a shock. <sighs> it would be a great honor for me to marry a princess. Uh, but, uh, you see, I've always dreamt of proposing to the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with in a very special way. How, if I may ask? I want to propose to the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with beside my mother's grave with the ring she gave me before she died. Oh, sorry, I, I know you would not like this idea, uh, but just forget about it, okay? Say so. <laughs> Come on, let's go have your dream proposal. Are, are you serious? Do you want me to change my mind? Give me like now. Slacking off the race. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's cool. I, I don't want you to change your mind. It's crazy and I'm so displaced. I know I must find a way. Find a way. This thing is now stressing me out. Can't seem to understand myself Can hardly recognize myself Your Majesty This thing is now sucking me dry Sit down Can't seem to understand myself Thank you, Your Majesty Sit down How are you holding up? It has not been easy, Your Majesty I heard you are close to the maid. Yes, Your Majesty. She took such drastic action because she heard I dumped her for Princess Naomi. Kings are empathetic when it is necessary, but not soft. When you are soft, you lose your grip as a king and your emotions will be cloud your reality. If you want to be a king, you must learn not to allow your emotions control you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Kings don't say sorry.
What's going on? I'm not okay. Something is wrong. Everything is not all right. I mean, I believe there is there's a twist here. My sister, she's up to something. Your sister is up to something. Which which of them? Bella. Why did you say so? Because she's been awfully quiet ever since. You know, you know she said that if she doesn't get married to you, then no one else will. Yes, she said so. She did. But she, she's not like the Bella I know. I know her full well. She's changed. There is a problem. Bella, okay. Ever since we got back, she hasn't fought anyone. She hasn't quarreled with anybody. That is not Bella. That is not my elder sister. Something is wrong somewhere. Ah. My love, I understand. You're right. But now she found a man, so probably she, she backed down. Even if she found a man. <laughs> Bella does not give up easily. She must cause problem. But she's just there without any problem. She's too quiet. There is something wrong, honey. Listen, we have to be far ahead of her. Yeah, we have to. So, what do we do? I must confront her. I mean, as ASAP, ASAP. The last thing my mother told me before she passed on was Azuka. Make sure you marry before your next birthday. You are the only surviving child. Please marry so that our lineage will not be wiped out. I tell you today that our meeting is divine. My birthday is just four days away and I met you. I know I'm not royalty and I'm not rich, yet you chose me. Bella Princess, please marry me and I will make you the happiest woman on planet Earth. Of course I'll marry you, <laughs> my king. You are going to be the king after my father. Excuse me? You are going to be king after my father. Are you sure I'm the only person here or you're talking to me? My father asked us to get a man. Whoever marries first, the husband automatically becomes the king after my father. <laughs> so, what are you saying? I am saying that I'm going to introduce you to my father as my fiancé. If he approves, then we set a date for the wedding. Uh, <clears throat> you see, uh, my queen, I think I need some time to digest this. Everything is just happening too fast. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be fine. Tomorrow, we see the king. My princess, I am so happy for you. Yes. I have always known that both of you are meant to be together. Of course. He's my man. And finally, I have landed, balanced, where I truly belong. Of course. And every one of them has gone to sit down. Stupid sisters of mine. <laughs> oh. Um. Eh, eh. Reminds me. I really need to see your father. Why? Is everything all right? Everything is all right, but at the same time, everything is not all right. Oh. Yeah, because I do not want this backstabbing sisters of mine to take me unawares. I don't want that to happen, and not anybody at all. So I want to really meet your father for serious fortification, you know. I want you to discuss with him and after you revert to me. I need to be really ready for these people. 
You need to be strong. Sure. I will do just that, princess. My one and only wonderful friend. I mean, what? What would I have ever done in this life without you? I would do anything for you. Thank you that. so much. Let's just that. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy too, sweetheart. I have bad news. I call you here to inform you that after my recent text, the doctor told me that I have less than a month to leave. Oh my. I thought you said six months. Yes, that was what the doctor told me. But after the recent checkup, he said I barely have a month. I am happy that the three of you have been able to get the potential kings. However, you are all qualified and worthy to inherit the kingship. But whoever that is chosen to become the king must be physically, medically, psychologically and mentally fit to be the king of this kingdom. Therefore, we have decided to observe the three men for three weeks before we come up with our final decision. I want you to go and tell your fiancés that I would like to have a meeting with them first thing tomorrow morning. Naomi, you have anything in mind? Um, father, what would be the fate of your other daughters whose husbands are not chosen as king? They will move in with their husbands to their husband's base. Of course, they will still qualify to inherit my property. You ladies can retire to your rooms. Father. If you were a son, I wouldn't have thought it twice in making you the king after me. I know. I know when my husband becomes king, I'm automatically queen. You all have been found worthy by my daughters to be potential kings of Ndiowu Kingdom. This is a real privilege. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, Your Highness. However, becoming kings come with lots of responsibilities. You must be fit medically, physically, psychologically, and spiritually. My doctor will be coming this evening to come and test your medical fitness. After that, we'll call you for the next step. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. No, let's take the no, no. let's take him to the hospital. Oh, no, no, there is no need for that. Why? Uh, we'll take him to his room. Why? That is, that is what he requested. Please, I don't understand. Take him to his room. His room? Let's go. Come in. What is going on? Oh no. According to the doctor, the king has just a short time to stay with us. The reason he wants to know his successor as soon as possible. Good day, gentlemen. Your Highness, how are you feeling today? How long do I still have to leave, doctor? Gentlemen, please, can you excuse us? Your 
Menes. I'm sorry. From the result of the test I conducted last time I came here, you do not have more than two weeks to stay, sir. Okay. Doctor, you have to follow my instruction. I need you to run a medical test on those three men to know how they are fit medically to become the king of this kingdom. Your instruction must be carried out, sir. First, let me run a check to see how you're feeling now. I've been in this palace all my life. The king is like a father to me. In fact, now this is happening, I feel like my own biological father is about to die and it is painful. So sad. Hold on. Were you born in this palace? No. I was his personal assistant. Oh, you were just a servant. Do you have a problem with that? Do you? Good. Anyway, soon I'll become king because I am more experienced. I have been with him. I have been serving him all my life. Hello, gentlemen. I am Dr. James. I'm here to collect your blood sample and your semen for some test as directed by the king. Sorry, I'll be leaving you after your mother. If there's anything I can do to buy more lifeline for myself, believe me, I will definitely do that. I am very proud of the women you all have become. But I want to beg you one thing. I need you all to live in peace after my demise. Yes, do not allow our enemies to take over my kingdom. God, please don't talk like that, please. Please. Dad. Dad. Good evening. Why are you in the palace? She's dead.
How did it go? I'm asking you a question. What's the result of the test? I need to tell you something. Okay. The outcome of the test might not favor me. How do you mean? I'm a carrier. I'm a sickle cell patient. What? What are you saying? You... Well, you don't look it. How come you didn't tell me? What is going on? I don't look it because of the went of bone marrow surgery. And I have been up to date with my medications. That is why I don't look it. I don't understand. What is the problem? The medical results might go against me. I saw the look on his face when he checked my BP. What are you saying? You see, uh, I have high blood pressure. It's a family condition. I even inherited it from my mom. That was what even killed her. And I know too well that someone with such condition is not fit to be king. Oh, are you kidding me right now? What did you just say? And why are you saying it now? Why did you not tell me on time? We were caught unaware. And nobody told me that we were going to be subjected to a compulsory uh, medical check. My God. So, so, so what are we going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. Huh? I need to think. I need to think of something. I need to... Why did you not tell me? I mean, you should have told me before now. But I don't know. No! Yeah, shut up! Shut up! So... So what do we do? If the result comes out, our hopes are shattered. I can't afford to miss the opportunity of becoming the next king of this kingdom. I'm not happy. In truth, I'm really worried. I've lost my mom, and now my father is terribly sick. If anything should happen to my father right now, I will automatically become an orphan. And I do not want that to happen. I know. I know. I am an orphan. I know how it feels to be an orphan. And I don't wish it even on my enemy, no. But babe, this is not the time to be depressed if we really want to inherit the throne. Okay, we need to strategize. Then what do we do? I've been thinking. About what? What if your father dies? Mm -hmm. Without naming his successor, who will inherit the throne? You got me there. Oh.
Have you come up with any plan on how to handle the medical results? The doctor is supposed to come with us today. Jerry, a king is not impulsive. A king always has a solution to everything. Most especially when he has a strong queen as wife. I want you to stay focused. Be a good and formidable king. Leave the trivial matters for me to handle. Well done. Very good job. I'll talk to you later. I am really bothered about the medical result. A king who has a queen mother like me, should at least trust her to handle some situations herself. Hmm? Don't worry. Just prepare yourself to be named my father's successor. Okay? You see the reason why I love you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> and I love you too. I love you, my queen. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> this is the way I will carry you on our wedding day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Has he picked up the call yet? Still saying switched off. Switched off. This is unlike him. His direct number is usually not switched off. I hope he's fine. But, Your Majesty. Maybe I should go and check up on him, you know, let me know if he's okay or not, because you never can tell. Who is that? This is an unknown number. Unknown number. Big to call, or no. Hello? Okay, just hold on. She wants to speak with you. Hello. What is the problem? Dr. James is dead. What? Dr. James? Dead? How could he die now that I needed him most? Oh no. Your Majesty. Go and call my daughters and their respective husbands. Let me bless them. Okay, before yes. I go to join my ancestors. Yeah. We're safe together. You are not leaving us yet. Yeah? Ah, we still need you. Please. Uh, but let me call them all the same. Yeah? Please. I will get them. Right now. This palace used to be an envy of all. It used to be peaceful, filled with love. Since the Queen Mother died, everything changed. <sighs> Ever since the two princes came back, everything has just changed. Things are becoming so mysterious. Did is dead. Jerry is no more a palace guard. The king is dying slowly. What will become of this palace? 
if the king passes away, when he knows he doesn't have a male child, a more intelligent question should be, why are all the princesses' boyfriends living with them in the palace and having a series of meetings with the king? Indeed, it's a very intelligent question. <sighs> How are you doing, Dad? Hold on, you and your man. Let me bless you, since I'm not going to be around when you finally get married. Dad, please. Please stop saying that. I mean, you can fight this. Kneel down before me. It's been a very long time with Sam. Ever since Ndidi died. Indeed. He who loves music will never be white unhappy. Ndidi loved music. She sings with us, but now she's no more. Music is the strongest form of magic, a very strong one. Without music, life will be so unhappy. We should sing. You are right. We have to dedicate this song to her. We have to dedicate it to our lost friend. She loves singing. I think we should sing it one more time for her. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. He who believes in me shall not thirsty. No man come to him except the Father calls him. And I will raise him up. And I will raise him up. And I will raise him up on the last day. May your hearts be united. May your love be unending. And may the world be a better place because both of you fell in love. He said, May God bless both of you abundantly till the rest of your life. He said, May God bless you in love, joy, and happiness. He said, You're blessed. Everything will be fine. The bread I will give is the flesh for the world. He who eats from my body, he will live forever. He will live forever. You are both bound with a tie not easy to break. Take the time of binding before the final vows are made to learn what you need to know, to grow in love and wisdom, to make your marriage strong, to make your love last in this life and beyond. Mm -hmm. You will live in perfect harmony, true to your personal values and your joint promises. May God bless your home with love, joy and laughter. I ask God to give you long and healthy marriage, remaining faithful to one another throughout all seasons of life. Amen. Thank you so much, Dad. So, Dad, 
Uh, should I take it that you have chosen my man to be the next king of this kingdom? And I will raise him up. And I will raise him up. And I will raise him up on the lies. Do not despise or deceive each other. Do not feel hate nor secret resentment towards each other. Just like a mother will risk her life for a child, so should both of you be eager to risk your life for one another. Oh no. Come here. Hereby announce my successor to be Your Highness. Father. Your Highness. What's wrong with him? No. Is it? Tell us. The king is gone. <laughs> oh, my father is not dead. Father, can you hear me? You, you were about saying something. You wanted to announce my husband as your successor, right? Father, but I know you can hear me. I know you're not sleeping. Talk to me. I'm here. I'm with you. He's going to wake up, right? Let me just give him a little space. He will wake up, right? Oh, no, why are you not saying anything? Oh no! Father! Father! Father, don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! You didn't tell me you were going to go like this! Father! Baby, is my father gone? Ah! You don't say anything! Father, no, 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 are difficult for all of us because of the demands of the king. You are not so... Babe? What are you doing? You do drugs! Stay away! Stay away! What are you doing? Get out! You do cocaine? Stay away from my stuff! Baby, stay away from my stuff! Do you know X? Expensive that is. Do you even know all the pains I'm going through? Please, can you just, just, just shut up? Please drop the call, okay? We can talk things over. Please, calm down. Please. Dad. 
Take a look at me, okay? Please. Just take it easy. I miss my dad. You overreacting, okay? I miss my father. I miss him. I miss him. <laughs> Okay, you all miss him. Please just calm down, okay? Calm down. Relax. It's okay. I like this one. Wow, it's my favorite. <laughs> Leave us. Why? You are asking a potential king out of his own matrimonial room? Now me, are you sick? Sit back. I wasn't planning to go anywhere. Leave! Have you forgotten that I know everything you know? Hmm? <laughs> you think you are rugged, right? In your brain, you think you are rugged. But let me tell you, I am deadly. And those wings that you think you have, those wings that are making you think that you are rugged, I grew them for you so you can never be more rugged than I am. You grew whose wings? Mine? Bella, David, AGDK. You may think you know me so well, but trust me, where my legs have crossed, you will not dare, not even in your next life. Hmm. I have four chambered stomach and I will never get filled eating food cooked by my enemies especially my kid sister what do you want you have three days to step down for me what did you just say <coughs> did that really come out from your mouth listen I don't want to see you in my room again. Get out. Three days. Get out. So that this is your sister is me. What, what is she doing with what are you doing? Get out of here. Sit. I hope she will not come back. Sit. So. The rain has beaten the cow right in the eyes. So. How do we now carry? A man with a broken waist. That's a big question. It's a pity King David did not mention his successor before he died. But according to our tradition, this throne can only remain vacant for a fortnight in honor of the king. After which a new king must be coronated. But the problem is this: amongst the three potential husbands to his daughters, none was mentioned by him as his successor. So, who becomes the next king? If I may ask, who amongst the three 
is the most qualified to become our next king. Kingship is not based on qualifications. Uh, there are so many things to be considered in the solution, yeah? I think that the husband of the eldest daughter stands a better chance of becoming the king. Mm, well, King David never wanted his successor to be selected based on seniority. That is another issue. If that is the case, so who then becomes our king? Father is dead and I know it's painful, but to a trained mind, death is just a transition, you know? A great adventure. I'm very sure Father will be enjoying himself. He was a strong man, and I'm very sure he would want us to be strong as well. My position is, I don't want us to let him down. He was not able to name his successor before he died. So today, we need to make a decision. That is why I called this meeting, so that we can all decide on who is most qualified to be the queen mother and the husband, the king. We have to settle it today, here and now, because a king must be produced in a fourth night. There is no other decision to make. You already know the first person that brought a man. Yes, before father died, he told me that I was the first person that brought a man to him, and he approved of it. So, I stand a better chance of becoming the queen and my husband the king. I mean, he said it himself, that whoever brings a husband first inherits the kingship. So I do not know the reason of this question you just asked. Are you just trying to look for what to say? What nonsense are you blabbing out of your mouth? Are you mad? Same father said that if I were a man, I would automatically become the king. So what trash are you spewing you out shut, of your mouth? Shut up your no, mouth. you shut up. Shut up that trash. No, you shut your mouth. mouth. Are you mad? Look at her. Father said, of course. Do you even have a better man? I was his favorite. You keep quiet. No, you keep quiet. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. Idiot. You don't even know what to say. Oh you don't believe her. But you want us to believe what you said father said to you, right? Exactly, because I know my father full well. I know he couldn't have said such to this neat tweet. So you are the next wit. She is nothing to write home about, you and I know. She's nothing but a drug addict. <laughs> if this throne is left with her, she will sniff it off. Are you responsible? <laughs> she is a drug addict. She messes around. How can father make such person? Do not say that a about me. Mother, but Nelly, I will get mad but at you. What you. Do are. not call me a drug you addict. A drug addict. Do not. <laughs> Don't dare. <laughs> That's what you What are. nonsense. Do you have? Can you even maintain the kingship? If they leave it in your hand, you will sell it on drugs! Nonsense. And you, the first daughter, what have you achieved as the first daughter? Talk to me. What have you achieved? Now you called us in the meeting to do what? Can't you behave like a first daughter? Of course I am behaving like a first daughter. Indeed, that is why I called this meeting to put it to you and you that you must accord me that respect. You must accord me my right, and it is my inheritance to ascend the throne with my husband, and that is final. In your dreams. dreams. In your dreams. What are you even saying? You don't even make it any points. It is my right. See, you see all this nonsense you're saying, eh? You already know who the person is. <laughs> and you are threatened. <laughs> Maybe thinking that you're the first daughter, you'll be the one to be there. You are not a man, you are a woman. I am the no first. Sense and and my husband Two of you must be the king. king. A raving man. You don't have a choice. You don't have it. No, I have it. No, you, you don't. Not. You don't you have it. You will not be queen. Oh, please. You will be don't alive and allow it to be the queen. Please. please. Where are you, drug addict? You don't have a choice. I and my husband must ascend that throne as the first daughter. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Hey, 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 wait there. When did the both of you live on this palace? Excuse you. Are you daft? I ask again. When are you guys living in this palace? Because it's obvious the king wanted me to succeed him before he passed on. Says who? Says me! Says who, I ask you! Says me! Yes! 
Because I am the one who has lived all his life on this palace with the king, and that qualifies me to succeed him. And if you are the most qualified, why didn't the king mention you as his successor or ask you? Answer me! Oh, even the best in the sky knows he wanted to mention my name. Hey, 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 see. Nobody leaves this palace. We are in together and we'll fight to finish. Are you talking to me? It's obvious you, you're the one I'm talking to. Hey, Mr. Ma, don't dare me, okay? So I don't twist your neck. Oh. And I will ask That's you for the cool. last time. When are you leaving this palace? Hey, Leave this palace! Leave. What will you do? Are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. What do you mean? Hey, 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 yes, of course hey, I do. Hey, yes, hey, yes, hey, okay. yes, I do. Hey, 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 yes, I do. Hey, 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 I can't do business here. I can't do business here. Hey, please, stop that. My princess! My princess! Get out of this place! Get out! 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 If King David was still alive, that was enough to disqualify both of you. Yes. How could potential kings, potential kings, be fighting in the presence of palace servants? Look at that. Eh? I. I know who I am. I'm, I'm very sorry. I regret my actions. Hello, my elder. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry for our actions. It will not repeat itself again. Both of you should leave us. Please, go. What was that for? Fighting like a street tout? I have told you to leave all the fights for me. Just get ready to become king. Listen, if you jeopardize my chances of becoming queen, I will kill you. Mark my words. Did you kill the doctor? Get ready to become king. We have tried to reason with all the princesses. None of them is prepared to listen to us. What can we do? But the fact remains that a king must emerge before the Ibis last of Allah. Now, the question is, who is to be the king? Who is to be the king? Why is it taking you so long? to name me queen. My father wants me to be queen. Oh no, if I were a man, my father wouldn't think twice before crowning me king. You have one week to do the needful. Or uh, what will happen? One week. I think I'm slacking off the race It's crazy and I'm so displaced No I know I must find a way Jesus. I am not happy And you know why? Because you were there when my father said that any of us that first presents a husband inherits the kingship. I presented a man first, my husband-to-be. So what is the problem? What is still keeping you from naming my man my father's successor? What exactly is keeping you from doing that or no? Your father did not name your man his successor for reasons best known to him. 
I have to respect that. Besides, we are still working on who Quit whatever you're working on and name my man the successor because he is the first person to be presented to my father. I mean, what is all of this? Oh no, please do not annoy me. I'm giving you only but four days. Four days to do the needful. Otherwise, I will have to do what I have in mind. Listen, threats will not solve this puzzle. Only dialogue. I am done dialoguing with anybody. Oh no, please do not make me more angry than I already am. Do the needful. Four days. You see, princess, you were there for my wife when she was sick. But you took care of all the bills. And that is why I want to tell you this. Babe! Can you please hurry? I <sighs> don't have time. Babe! Hey, I'm coming. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Babe, ah! ah! what is it? What is it? Bow for the king of the universe. Huh? I said bow for the king of the universe.
five, six, seven, eight. You want me to help you count more? Why are you yelling my name? What did you do to my husband? Madness is not my signature. Killing is. If I wanted to go after him, he would have been dead by now. Liar. You did this! You did! If you're so sure, what is preventing you from attacking me directly? I am going to find out who did this to my husband. And when I do, heads will roll. Good luck with your investigation. Enjoy it. Jerry! One more to go. Now I'm out on a hunting trip. Right. A My princess, what if she brings another man? Well, that is a very valid point. But I pray we do not get to that. Did you do it? Do what? Cost him madness, did you? Get ready to be king. I want to be king. By all means. But not by harming and bewitching people. Sometimes you pick up a gun to put down a gun. Meaning? Get ready to be king. Put him in the car. to my father's throne. A beautiful prince. I want you to get ready to ascend that throne. It is yours, it is ours. No one is gonna take it away from us. And I tell you something, it is the time to activate the next stage. Mm. Mm. Well, my beautiful princess, mm. there is this style that is called the king and his queen. We are going to experiment it the night of our coronation. Oh, come on, my king. We do not necessarily need to wait till our coronation night to do that which a king and his queen does. We can do it at any time. Mm. You see, honey, my drive for queen mothers is much. Maybe that's why I loved my mother so much. And I can do anything within my power to, to be in that exalted position. Anything, honey. You know what? No need to talk too much. I want us to 
head straight to the palace. No, your palace. <laughs> so that you can have me. Not just have me. Let us do that, which the king and his queen actually does. <laughs> so let's go, honey. <laughs> oh my god. No, hold on. Hold on. You see why I talk about you? You see why you must be the great king of Undyo Kingdom? Oh my goodness, you are everything wonderful. <laughs> oh goodness, baby. Oh, wow. My king! The great king! the goats, please. Not me. Mm. <laughs> I see you are afraid. And what about you? No, 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 no. I mean, kill the goats first. I mean, sh shave the goats. Start, start with the goats, sorry. They are attending to him, Ono. I took him to the psychiatric hospital. So sorry about that. I am very sure Nelly did something to him. That is a very grievous allegation. I know. I am sure. And I can prove it. 
if you can prove it. That is enough to disqualify them. Very well. I will get you your evidence. What if he doesn't get better? I can present another man, right? That is not possible, I'm afraid. Whoever will succeed King David must have his blessings. He only gave his blessings to three men, one of whom must be king. Hey! Blood for blood. Blood for blood. Open your hands. It's time to test what I've cooked for both of you. Are you ready? I was born ready, great one. It is my turn to become the queen of Ndiowo Kingdom. Go ahead, exercise your power on me. This is great. I have heard so much about you and today you have proven yourself. It is time for you to also exercise your power on the king, incoming king of Ndiowo. Go ahead, shoot him. Bam, shoot, 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 no. What? Ah. He has tested the gun on you. Hey, hey, hey. Baby, no, 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 no. Can you stop no. behaving like a coward? What is wrong with you? You bullets are expensive. I don't allow this man to waste. Have you forgotten that you are the incoming king of Ndio? What is it? I know. Eh? Oh. You see? Huh? He eh? is too good. Eh? That's it no again. man! <laughs> Nobody, one of a woman can destroy you. Nothing can stand on your way. Go, go, you go. It is your turn. Go ahead and go, take go, it. Go, you go. Go ahead and take it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what's that? Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good I'm going work behind you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going work with you. Go ahead. I might run away from this palace anytime soon. Have you thought of that? <laughs> I've been thinking the same too. It's no longer safe here. I think I will leave. Where would you be going from here? Back to our impoverished homes? To become liabilities to our parents? <laughs> I'm going nowhere. I'm going to remain here. The princesses will not be here forever, and things will normalize when they go. Chinenye. Chinenye. I just feel like to be gazing at you. What are you saying? Serving a dead king 
Opu. Joya. There will be a new king. And who knows? He might do better than the old one that died. You are just a daydreamer. Wake up. A lot of things are happening here. If you can't see it, I can't see it. Didi, so you're gone. Before she died, she told me Princess Noami offered her money to stay away from Jerry. How much? The money was in millions. Jesus. And she refused? Yes, she rejected it because she loved Jerry. Love Obakwok. Princess Nami offered her millions and she refused. But anyway, say, that is not what we are to discuss now, okay? What are we going to do about it? Yes, what are we going to do? I will find a way to meet with her mother. Okay, okay. There is this tradition in this community that whoever that dies and the death is suspicious, you can be able to bury a weapon in the person's grave and if truly the person was killed the spirit of the dead person will be able to avenge their deaths so yes i'll be able to find a way okay you will meet the mother yes i will are you sure this is going to work i appreciate it of course it's okay don't do that it's okay it's okay Didi.
with that arm. What is wrong with him? He's my junior brother. Yeah. We have been begging him to stop taking him oh. He refused, and today he went and took it again. Since like... the morning, he has been running mad. You people are in a better place. Just take him inside, you will see a nurse. I don't like this way they do Doctor, where's my husband? Your husband? Yes, where is he? A, a lady was here earlier and she said that she's your sister and you asked them to bring him home. What nonsense are you talking about? And I demanded to call your number, the number you gave to me, and I called. It was your voice I heard. And uh, you gave us go ahead. What's wrong? <sighs> Nelly. Nelly, I think I'm going to kill you. I'll kill you. Well, I think that I'm losing myself. I think I'm slacking off the road. Problem rest. everywhere. Look at this one, Urumini. And I've told, I've warned them to stop taking this. It's crazy and I'm so displaced. <laughs> I know I must find a way. God! Find a way. You know what? I am not going again. Just pack. Are you okay? I said pack! Stop this car! This thing is now sucking me dry. Are you? I don't understand you. I said stop this car! Rubbish. I am not giving I'm not giving you a dime. No sense. Nico, I'm not going again. Rubbish. Hey, hey, hey. What do you, you don't need to do? See, you, you won't guide me. Chero. Hmm? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you are like, very mad. You are, come on, get out of my face. I'm not giving you. You're the crest. You're the crest. You're the crest. What are you I'm running to become the champion. I'm running to become the champion. Give me my money! Say you don't go inside! Give me my money! I should give you your money! But they are worried! I think I'm slacking off the rest. Get this thing out of here! It's crazy oh, no. and I'm so displeased. I will jam you. Give me my money. I know I must find a way. Find a way. Mom, you should have opened it now. Hey, you should have opened it. This is yours. This is my wish car. This car that you stole. You think I don't know that you stole it? You should have gone to call police now for you. Go go anywhere. I'm going to call police. So on your Shimoto. You will see what I will do to you. I will call police for you. Because this car, you stole it. You don't look like somebody that owns a bicycle. No, don't run, no. Don't run. I will call police and I will call EFCC. ICPC. Just wait. Wait for me. Idiot. You think say you're the crazy? Where they worry you? Did they worry you? Eh? Because they worry you. You know the one when they worry me? Respect your own age, though. Respect your own age, though. Not even when we are close, they're okay, though. Hello? There's a thief! There's a thief here! Yes, car thief! Mm. Yes! The particular, you know the particulars! Yes! Even the face no match the car! Eh! Yes, it's still there here. Oh, my God, I'm. my God, I'm. okay. <laughs> you are not going anywhere. Police, don't let I guide you, make you no wrong. <laughs> now, me and you today, you won't find trouble. Eh? Oh, you don't carry. Ah, eh? Oh, okay. Hello, police. You don't carry me, come on, though. You don't carry me, come on. You don't carry Oh, make I still hold on. Don't worry. Police never can go you. I know, I know they go I know they come on.
Madam, my uncle no dey house. Are you okay? Nobody dey house. How dare you? I said, how dare you? How 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 dare you touch me? You stupid, you stupid, you stupid, very stupid, rubbish. Nelly, Oya Dika, Nelly, Nelly. Madam, they know the house. This man is here. Nelly. If he wakes up in 30 minutes, what will you do with him? He doesn't deserve to live. This idiot caused a rift between my two sisters. Right now, he is standing on my way to become the next queen. He deserves to die. That's fine. Who is there? Where is she? What? Where is that hopeless first daughter? Where is she? Where is she? Where is that useless, god forsaken first daughter? Come out here right now! First daughter. Good. Did you just call me useless? Is that not what you are? Or have you suddenly gone daft? Are you not useless? Hmm. Coming from a riffraff, hmm. a murderer, hmm. a killer. That is what you are. You think I don't know you killed Dr. James and you made Azuka my man mad? You think I don't know? How cheap of you to have thought that I would stoop so low to do a thing like that. So that was why you kidnapped my man, right? <laughs> I don't know what you're you talking about. You know exactly about. what I'm talking about and you're going to give me all the answers to my question. Where is my man? Where did you keep him? I said I don't know anything about you. You know everything about him! You know everything and do not even try to pretend. First daughter, can you respect yourself and do the need for? Where is my man? Are you serious right now? I said I do not know anything about your man. I am damn serious, Bella. For the very last time, now begin to talk. Where did you keep my man? And for the very last time, I don't know anything about your man. And let me tell you this, for the sake of yourself and your fat behind, Go and undo what you did to my man, else you will not like what I would do to you. Now what exactly do you think you can do to me? Because you're my elder sister? Because you're what? An elder sister should behave like one and leave my freaking man alone. Get yours! Listen, I, I'm, I'm losing it already. Where did you keep my man? Better, where, where did you keep my man? Very well then, watch me do my worst. Hold it for me. Ah, my princess. Hey, keep quiet. Keep the hell quiet. That is my princess. Keep quiet. Please, to calm yourself and elder sister, you're not going to do anything. Keep quiet. 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 Keep qui
you would you would respect your freaking ass. You got your man? Stay with your fucking man and leave mine alone. My that's incredible. You shut up. Shut the hell up. Wait a minute, please. Can I have a light, please? My princess. That's it, please. Now listen to me, listen to me, Bella, or whatever your name is called. Now begin to tell me where you kept my man before I set this freaking thing you call a car ablaze. Now, don't joke with me. One. Hey. Two. <laughs> hey. If you know you are a woman, a real woman, try it. Hey. No! No! Help! 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 Even if you scream from now to tomorrow, nobody will hear you. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why? I want us to have a nice manly talk. Both of us. You are standing on my way to become the next queen. I will give you an offer. You see this my beautiful girlfriend? You will follow her. She will smuggle you out of the country to Libya. And everybody will be fine. Game? You are such a dreamer, Naomi. The kingship is ours. Stop wasting your time. I'll ask you one last time. Are you going to follow her? Oh, Naomi, stop wasting your saliva. No matter how much you try to make me scared, I can never be scared of you. I think I'm scared of this, of this toy you have in your hand. No, I'm not. You're guys, you got I'm one of the Stop wasting your time. We have everything all planned out. And we'll take you out just like we take out Dr. James. You killed Dr. James? Yes. No, 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 honey. Honey, I don't want to believe this. No, just tell me you are joking with me. You're not telling me the truth. Hey, please relax. Let me explain to you, okay? What do you want to explain? Sin, I've done a series of tests. And it was confirmed that that I have low sperm count. But, <gasps> but, but babe, it can be corrected in due course, believe me. And, and, but I, I, did, I did another one recently. Same? Result? Oh my goodness. This is nothing to... No one is listening. No one should hear of this. What? So wait, honey, I, I want to get something well. Let me understand you better. Are you trying to say that if we keep doing what man and woman do, we can never procreate. Wait, wait. We can never have children. Wait, wait. There's an advanced treatment to that. But when I become the king, I'll start taking the. No, you have. Wait, 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 he has to be taken out immediately. Wait, you you mean we should? We should. We should. Tonight. I mean, Feta, we can't have kids, and that's an automatic disqualification. And my sister still wants to go ahead and marry you? Yes, because she desperately wants the throne. She loves the throne more than her life, so we got everything sorted out. We need to do some digging. 
Digging. What, 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 what digging? What are, what are you talking about? What digging? Help! Help! Father must be turning in his grave by now. Why? I Why? don't care. I don't care whose ox is God or no. I don't care. If you must blame anybody, then you have to blame it on my father. Because he caused all of this. If he had kept to his promise, if he had chosen the man I brought to be my husband, all this wouldn't have happened. He told us to do something, and I did it. I was the first to present a man to my father. Why did he not do what he ought to do? What is all this nonsense? What do you want me to do? Now you want to blame it on me? No, no, do you really want to blame it on me? Listen, I don't need to talk too much. You see that useless woman that calls herself our first daughter. Want her. Want her to provide my man. Like, let her provide my man already. Otherwise, heads will roll. And it might start from you, no. Not joking with you. Oh no. oh no. We have to do something really fast. Otherwise, these girls might end up killing themselves. But what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Eh? I'm, I'm trying my best. Oh no, your best is not good enough. I think the kingship has to leave this family to another family. Uh, no. Yes. Don't even go there. Please. I will not betray my king. He trusted me with his life. I will not betray him. Oh no, this is not betrayer. This is doing the right thing. Yes, oh no, doing the right thing. Can't you get it? Don't do this to me. Don't, don't, don't do what you do. Shut up! Don't. with me and see are you the only person that knows how to hold <laughs> hey, hey where is my man Nelly? where is Asoka? I know you have always wanted him tell me exactly where you kept him if not Please. if not we'll kill ourselves here we'll kill ourselves and bury ourselves see this one I'm ready for you I'm ready for you for that this princess nonsense I'm ready for you I, I would and you. when you say that you seem to forget that I am street as well I will show you my Chris which Chris? But that Chris what gets. Hey, 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 yes. You're mad though. You're, you're mad. mad. You are crazy. I will show you Chris here. Yeah. I will show you Chris. Wait, 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 my man. I don't need to talk where to you. Where is my man? I'll get good one about. I'm ready for you, Nani the Mama Chris. You don't even like me. Come here. Be here. Give me look. Let me see here. Let me look. That time is tagging. That time is tagging. That time is you tagging. Hey! Okay, guys. These are the suspects. 
Suspects. Arrest them. Yeah. What is this? You bring police on us? Madam, you're under arrest. For? Eh? For legal position of firearms and the mother of Dr. James. Oh, yeah. This one. She did it. She is an accomplice. Oh, 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 uh, we, eh? we planned it. You have the right to remain silent. For anything you do or say, will be you against your court of law. Yes, Mojra. We planned it. I'm forgetting. Uh, uh, She's an accomplice. I don't even know who you are. Tell me what you're doing. You're not going to be special. 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 You're not going to be special
Today, we crown our king. It is time to do that. I'm Jerry Stafford and Neil. Você não quer para ver se queijo cuia. Ife, o que é isso? Ai! O novo Macosuki. Bring your hand. Give me your hand. Thereby empower you over there. All the paraphernalia of this office of Eze. Can you buy? Yeah. <laughs> By the powers conferred on me as the owner of this kingdom, I, Marcos Obi, the true friend of late Igwe David Ejidike, am go one. Of the whole kingdom. Yeah, by crown you, Jerry Obiekwena, I'm going to go second of the whole kingdom. Eke Ori A4. Hey, yo, what's going on here? You can't do this. I should buy bet right. You know what I mean? The crown belongs to me. This is my bet right. You cannot coronate him. Uncle Anthony, you are alive? Of course I'm alive. You thought I was dead? I'm totally disappointed. Especially in you, my niece. You couldn't deem it necessary to let me know my brother is dead? How can you do that? You see, I chose a very good time for me to give myself soft landing so that I would do the right thing. And that's what I'm here to do. The crown belongs to me. Nobody but me. Nobody. And who the hell is he? Oh no. Oh no, don't do that. Please. Coronate me. I'm still kneeling. Please do it fast. Fast, please. Talk to him. That is my bet right. Do not coronate him. You want to commit an abomination? That's a taboo! Oh, oh no, please don't listen to him, okay? I'm still kneeling. Coronate me, please. Jerry! I cannot crown you king of Fundo Kingdom. Twin brother to the late king, David. He is here and he is the rightful inheritor of this crown. Yes. Also considering all the atrocities you and your co suitors committed in this kingdom, you cannot be crowned king of Fundo Kingdom. It is not possible. Come on, coronate me! Jerry, Jerry, put down the gun! Stay back! All this nonsense you are saying not entering my ears. I said, coronate me right now! Is it because I'm begging you? Coronate me if I shoot you! I said, do it! Except you want people to refer to you as lit, oh no! I will not repeat myself. Coronate me now! Ndidi! Ndidi, you should be dead by now. I, I, I killed you! I, I killed you, you're dead! What are you looking for? Baby, 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 Jerry, don't do this to me! Help, Jerry! 
Oh my god! Jerry! No! No! No, Jerry! If you don't do this to me, wake up! Jerry, wake up! Jerry! Jerry! No! Help! Yo, Marcos. Majesty. We need to do a whole lot of purification in this palace. This palace has been polluted with lots of killings. Lots and lots of killings. The maiden was killed by Jerry. Dr. James was killed by Princess Nelly. Princess Naomi has confessed to the killing of Onyedika and Azoka. This palace needs purification. Lots of purifications. Your Majesty, is everything all right? I thought I saw somebody. <laughs> now, well, I think uh, uh, we should commence Preparations for the purifications immediately. Uh, there are things we should not uh, delay. Out of the fires of desperation burn hope and solidarity. Desperation is like stealing from the mafia. You stand a good chance of attracting the wrong attention. Desperation will lead you down the road of false hope and false love. Violence is the last refuge of the incompetent. An eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. Learn from my mistakes. I know better now. Searching for the special fit. Don't know if I'll find you. Looks like I'm losing my mind. Don't know if it's wrong or right. The way to find you. If I try to follow my heart, I may never find the love I seek. Now I'm running out of time. Oh, the God, the God, the God, very, very risky. If I try to follow my heart, I may never find the love I seek. No matter of urgency, I need to find the one I call my own. The one for me, my one in all. No matter of urgency, I need to find the one I call my own. The one I love, the one for me. No matter of urgency. Thank you.